Oh, this is cool. I'm talking about Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Yep. And if you know your video games, you gotta know the Sega Genesis. It's probably one of the most popular video game systems in history. It's definitely Sega's most popular gaming console ever. It lasted for about nine years, nearly a decade. Holy crap. And there's tons of great games on here. This Ultimate Collection includes about 40 games. Here you get ones like Alex Kidd, Alien Storm, not too good. Alter Beast, the original. Yeah, when you talk about the Sega Genesis, you of course gotta talk about Alter Beast. Because in 1989, when the Genesis came out, this was the packing game for it. Oh shit, come on, kick, Aww. I forgot where the kick button was. Here you can transform in like different animals and all that. Like in this stage, I can transform into a werewolf. And in second stage, it's a dragon. Third stage, it's a bear. And fourth stage, it's a tiger. And then you go back to the werewolf on the final stage. And there you got my dose of steroids. And I could even play this in two-player. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. Don't do drugs, kids. Look at the size of his head compared to his body. Okay. Oh shit! All right, you guys are in shit now. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> hey, okay. Oh yeah. I'm a roo. I can throw fireballs. Come on, get to your doom. <laughs> it's a little bit scratchy, but still, this is a very cool game for 1989. Imagine playing this game and comparing it to the regular Nintendo games that were out at the time, they are so fucking incredible. Shit, okay. Oh shit! <laughs> you got time to just right. <laughs> I always hate this part. He takes away my power and I started back in my speedos again. Bullshit. That was not too bad. Cool ones like Beyond Oasis. Oh, Columns. Column Zone. All these cool games. East Watt? Don't remember that one, but it's Figure Robocop or something. <laughs> yep. All three of the Golden Knights games, including the Golden Knights that wasn't released here originally. <laughs> and here's Golden Knights for the Ultimate Sega Collection here. Now, what I like about this one, not only is it a good Double Dragon variant, you're beating up people, but you can also use magic, and you can ride, you know, dinosaurs and all that. Which is cool. Or dragons or whatever the fuck they're called. Here. <laughs> and what I like about this Ultimate Genesis Collection over the PS2 Genesis Collection is that when you actually kill the girls, they actually sound like girls. They don't sound like guys. So it's emulated pretty well. Alright. <laughs> I always hate this jump here. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, and those little dudes will give you magic. Oh fuck, come back here. Great music. Yeah, this is just another classic game on this collection here. And if you haven't played yet, that's why this collection is worth owning. Oh shit, I gotta fight these two. Alright, you want some? Yeah! Fantasy Stars 2, 3, and 4. Where I started at, I didn't think it was too good. Shine Force Games, Shinobi. And unfortunately, no Revenge of Shinobi, which sucks. No Shadow Dancer either. But still. And you got Sid Sonic on here, including my favorite, Sonic and Knuckles. Sega. Oh yeah, Sega! One of my favorite, Sonic and Knuckles. And what I like about the interface here is that it can let you rate your favorites. That's what these little stars are here. Say, I really love Sonic 3, so I gave it a 5 star rating here. See? And let's go to one that I hate. Yep, Super Thunder Blade. See, I gave it 1 star. <laughs> Very crappy 3D game. <laughs> Don't play it. <laughs> but I gave other ones like Better Man, Better Man 2, 4 stars. Great action game. Lots of little bit of depth, but still 
very fun. Everyone's like older beast, just get like a three because it was one of the earlier Sega titles. It was kind of short. <laughs> yeah, you get about 40 games on here, but that's not all. Play the games for a bit. You can lock interviews, see with uh, Japanese developers and all that. Talk about you know what the fuck went wrong with Sega <laughs> and what went right. And you can even lock some arcade games like Alien Syndrome, Ultra Beast for the arcade. That's awesome. Kong of Mongo. I didn't know that was a Sega title. Yeah, you see someone? Golden Mats Warrior! Yep, that's a Sega Master System title, baby, yeah! Oh, but it gets better, Fantasy Star! <laughs> yep, it includes all four original Fantasy Star games on here. You just have to beat the boss in Sonic 2, and you can unlock it. The first boss, with two players, well, whatever. And the original Arcade Shinobi! Oh man, this game is so cool, but it's so fucking hard as well. Uh, it's finally cool to have an arcade perfect version of Shinobi on a compilation disc. Because you couldn't even play the original Shinobi on the Sega Genesis, which I thought was kind of lame. But still, it's on here right now. Space here, that's on. Just lots of cool features. Lots of options. Streets of Rage, yeah. I guess that's why the game got teen rating. <laughs> because these games can be very violent. And remember, Sheets and Rage, the Japanese edition had like a gay barker dude in it. <laughs> that hey, they had to take out the US version. But you can unlock him through Game Genie code, but unfortunately I don't think you can do that here. <laughs> but still, it's cool that these cool old school fighting games are on here because they're some of the best 2D fighters around. Alright, I guess I should wrap this up. I just love playing these old classes again, and because of that, this game gets a 91 out of 100. Very awesome collection, so much to it. It lets me play the original Golden Axe Warrior and Fantasy Star on here. I didn't know those were on here, it's so fucking awesome. And they're easy to unlock too. <laughs> There's games where you just have to play Fantasy Star 2, and boom, you get an instant free game. And these games are emulated perfect too. I didn't hardly notice any problems with it. Like I noticed with the lame 12 game collection for the Sega Dreamcast which had like <laughs> problems with the sound. And even the PlayStation 2 version had a little bit of problems with the sound too. But on this one, I didn't notice anything too unusual. I'm sure it's not quite perfect but still, it's still pretty good from what I've seen. And that's why I've recommended this game. Now I'm just waiting for Super Nintendo and Turbo Graphics Collection. <laughs> I'm not going to hold my breath though. Especially since this is uh, on the Xbox. <laughs> Alright. And this is Star Soldier. Giving a thumbs up to Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection or whatever they're going to call it. Very good collection. Yeah. So, over and out.